Hello, and welcome to Working For You. Today, our guest is Joe Cosgrove. And Joe Cosgrove is in charge of the recycling programs. He works out of community development. I'll leave it to him to give you his title. It's, it's quite a long one. So, <laughs> welcome, Joe. Thank you, Chris. Good to see you again. Yeah, good to Thank see you me. again. Thank you for coming. I know how busy it is. Um, now tell us, what is your official title in so the community development? So my official title, I'm in the Department of Economic and Community Development, and I am the Environmental Planner slash Energy Manager. So oh. I do a lot of sustainability programs, one of which is the Solid Waste and Recycling Program. Which is great. Can you give us a quick little background on, I know you were, you did, you were city councilor in Methuen at one time. Way back. A you're, long you're, time we ago. Long, we go long, long, long time. Yeah. yeah, we do go back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes these shows fun, is that you can, you know, have those memories. Um, but also, you eventually went to work somewhere else, yep. then came to work for community development, then left community development, but you came back with some great ideas for Methuen, energy sustainability, well, um, you just came back with a wealth of knowledge. Yeah. But the big subject today. <laughs> you wanna f we want to focus on. Right. That's is what the we want to focus Trash on. and recycling program. Right. And as you know, we went through a major, major change last year. Mayor Perry started the initiative of the CARTS program. And if you remember before we had the CARTS, and uh, it was, we, we had those blue bins, remember, right. for recycling. Right. And we basically collected everything. We, we, we uh, basically, Methuen had no trash limits. We, we did put like everything that, though. I have to tell you, we did like that. Everybody <laughs> liked that. It was great. But it wasn't really sustainable. Right. Because, as you know, there's, you know, when we were growing up, you know, every town, every town, every city had its landfill. Well, now there are, do you know how many landfills there are in the state right now? There's only five operating landfills and they're all going to close by 2030 and there's five incinerators our trash goes to an incinerator in North Andover or Haverhill um, but there's only five of those in the state so the cost of waste disposal has soared when I don't know, when Dennis DeZoglio your friend of mine uh, was mayor you know waste disposal costs were about $45 per ton were, were the tipping fees for the disposal costs now can you, can it's you paying talk up Sure. Now it's paying $105 a ton is what wow. we pay for trash. So it's, so if, and Methuen, you know, before this past year, we were, our, our solid waste tonnage really climbed, it was, we were over 20,000 tons for the, for a year. So multiply that by 105, that's, that's a lot, that's of, a lot money. of money. So we had, you know, we were spending, you know, a good chunk of our, DPW budget for solid waste and trash pickup. And our recycling rates was very low. So if we, and I think you have the map, what we call the map of shame. I do, <laughs> and they're going to put D it up if we ask. This is the, how much trash did we throw out in 2021? It's right there. So, so if you, can you talk look, about that. red is bad okay. in that map. So that's 351 cities and towns in Massachusetts. And right. most of them about 200. Or, or more basically provide municipal trash pickup. And green is good, red is bad. We're the deep red. We're the, like the red with the black dot because we were <sighs> over, over 2,500 pounds a year. That's more than a ton a year per household of oh, wow. trash pickup. You know, you just add up everything else. Um, and uh, so the state has a goal, you know, because because waste disposal costs are going, you know, are soaring, mm -hmm. and because there's, you know, we have to ship our, a lot of our trash out of state, you know, goes to other states, goes to New Hampshire, Ohio, South Carolina, that's expensive. Mm -hmm. So the state has a, has a goal, if we're gonna continue to grow economic development, we gotta come up with better ways to manage waste. And so that involves more recycling, more reuse, and really, wait, you know, thinking about what we're buying and how, what we're packaging. For the sake of our viewers, yes. can you kind of pinpoint where we are? Where Methuen, well, Methuen, 
you know Massachusetts. Where in the upper corner? You see that streak of red in the northeast Massachusetts? Yes. So where are the border community with the right. with the butterfly? And you can see where the the Methuen butterfly shape with that wings is where that uh, where that deep red and there's a black dot in that red. So we're like one of the highest, one of the worst in terms of per household tonnage right. per per community. For and trash. among our for for trash, yeah, in terms of waste. So and we're pretty bad on on. We recycling. have been pretty bad in terms of recycling. Our recycling rate was about ten percent. So of all the things that get thrown, you know, that go thrown thrown out. About 10% was recyclables. Now, with Mayor Perry's new program that went into effect last year, those numbers have changed. And then that was, uh, so really it was for that. We wanted to encourage recycling. We wanted to reduce materials that go into our waste stream. One, because it's good for the environment. Two, it's good for the taxpayer. And three, the state is trying to build an economy around these recycling mm -hmm. industries. So it's, it's good for jobs as well. You know, I think sometimes um, households are confused as to what they can put in trash yeah. and what they can put in recyclables, yeah. can or cannot. So you brought a bunch of different pieces I did of trash. Some. But first, I should say, I want to give the good news highlight okay. of what we, because I told you what the numbers were before last. That's right. So now we have, so for nine months of fiscal year 2023, which ended June 30th. So we, ha we had the CARDS program about a year ago now. We're mm -hmm. filming this right. uh, September 15th, which is a big day for me. I'm becoming a grandfather today. <laughs> um, that is a September big day. Yes, but a year ago. By the, the way, he may have to leave the show <laughs> I'm, if he I'm going gets into the labor, call. right. <laughs> so we're just warning you in advance. <laughs> I've turned my phone off. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I think we have time. Okay. But... Um, so anyway, but a year ago, the carts were getting distributed all the time. And that was, that was, uh, everybody got their carts, we hope. So, uh, but we had like 14,800 carts out there. Every household mm -hmm. that's in the service area for municipal trash pickup got a trash cart, and a, a 96 gallon, uh, a 64 gallon trash cart and a 96 gallon uh, recyclable cart. And uh, the message there was there's more room in the recyclable <laughs> bin but we also than there do, is yeah. in the trash bin. Right. So, and there, but we do you know. do the every other week, you know, right. trash pickup is every other week, right. recycling pickup. And that's, that made it more affordable to the right. city. Right. So, so basically our numbers, you know, with the CARTS program in effect, we saw 30% reduction in our trash. Collection. Oh, that's wonderful. So from 20,000 tons in fiscal year 22, that was reduced to 14,000 tons you know, about that's in, in FY23. And in this year, it's probably going to be about 13,000 tons. So that's, for last year, that saved the taxpayer about half a million dollars just in that in the waste disposal cost. Recycling actually increased about 30%. That went from 2,500 tons in, uh, in fiscal 22 to 3,500, 3,200 tons in fiscal 23. Mm -hmm. So that was a great, you know, our recycling rate increased from 10% to over 20%. So those are great numbers. We look good. We're not going to be in the dark red. We're hopefully to make into the uh, yellow Maybe or get gold. a more strawberry and color the and then into the yellow color. <laughs> the that would be good right. if that happened So that's every a good year. one year thing. That was it like is. an immediate, you know, 25%, more than 25% reduction in trash. That's huge. An increase in recycling. That's yeah. huge. So that's, so we're looking good and the citizens are doing a great job. And now we want to work on, we this want to work on gonna, the problem. Let, we're going to play a game now. Contamination. Yes. We're going to play a game, sure, and they're going say. to put this up on the screen yeah. about what you can throw away and what you can't. So yeah. I'm going to lift up. Um, we're going <laughs> like, to play the, you know, where does this say, go? And why this is important okay. is because the more things we can, we pay $105 a ton for trash pickup. Yeah. We pay less than that, $100, plus we're, the, you know, recyclable material have value. And that's used to credit our disposal costs. So the recycling processing costs 
can be let, less than the waste disposal cost if we, have a, if we don't have contamination. Contamination is the problem. So that's why it requires some, some thinking yes. about, and some knowledge of what, gets, what goes in the recycle cart, what goes in the trash cart. And uh, so some people, and I think you said you were one of them, I kind of wish recyclers. You know, they want to recycle everything. We want everything. to recycle, but we don't always but know, we know what, what we it is, recycle. right? So we want to tell people we have single stream recycling, and it's supposed to be easier. Some towns, you know, have we only collect cardboard, or we only, you know, in terms of they have separate collection for glass and cardboard. We put everything right in a in That's a cart. Right. Your newspapers, right? Your boxes and all of that. Right. And our hauler, Eel yeah. Harvey, takes that material to a materials recovery facility. One we have is in Dorica, and it all goes there. It goes through conveyor belts, and there's scanners, and the plastics are separated from the cardboard and the and the newspaper, and and so everything goes into a bin. You know, guards, glass goes away yeah. and stuff. So, but that happens at the MRF, and we want to make sure contamination is a problem. We want to make sure there's safety at the MRF for workers, and we want to make sure there's no contamination. Well, this is what the, I think you have to talk a little bit about. What is contamination? Well, contamination is big trash or materials that don't belong in the recycle cart. Okay. And if you remember a couple of years ago, it was a big national headline that, ah, oh, the recycling markets took a dive because the Chinese were saying, we're no longer accepting recyclable materials because there's too much contamination. Oh. So they wanted to get to the, our contamination down. Right. We did an audit of, of, our, of our recyclable materials. This past July took place with base Waste Management and E.L. Harvey. And any guesses on, in terms of what our recycling contamination rate was? What was it? It was, well, anecdotally, it, it seemed, you know, the hauler was saying, oh, it's 40%. It really wasn't that bad. Some neighborhoods, it is bad. But citywide, it was about 16.4%. Well, I think maybe so, in the more congested areas of the city, um, yeah. there's a little bit more confusion. Yeah. So, I mean, renters didn't, That's you know, right. we haven't, we got our recycling bins in the 1990s. So if you're a new resident of town, you didn't get a bin, you kind of had to That's do right. it yourself. That's right. So Sorry. now everybody has a cart. Yeah. And they can do it. And they have to learn that trash doesn't go in the recycling cart. Most people want to do the right thing, and most people I think they do. do do the right thing. And there are very few people who are trying to hide trash on purpose in, into the into the. Well, uh, some people with larger families who don't want to buy another yeah. bin and but don't want to pay for those blue bags, right. they may be doing that. And, and but we've done spot checks, and it's it's really only less than five okay. percent. You no, know, of that's that's, 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 that's of where that's happening. Because at Christmas time, I know we use the blue bags. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you have family over, and you know you yeah. have you have a run over of trash. So, so yeah. if you have the blue bags and you're willing to pay for the blue bags, you're good to go. Yeah. You're good to go. It does work. So can we now play? So yeah, in terms of what should go in the recycling. What should card. go in the recycling? <laughs> this is that um, graphic that they have there, and now we're going we to play. We call that the recycle guide. Yeah. Uh, now I don't know how we can play this game. Of yeah. where does this go? So, I will hold it up and say, where does this go? <laughs> and you give us an answer. But yeah, so in terms of the general rule is of the thing, you know, metals, metal cans, not metal objects, not, not metal tools or toys. It's really the cans, aluminum cans, uh, you know, steel cans, you know, food sure. cans. Soda cans, whatever. Right, plastics, but not all plastic. Plastic tubs, jars, bottles. Those go in the recycle can. Not plastic toys. Not don't pay attention to the numbers. Oh, you can't put plastic there are pla toys. Plastics. There's a lot of confusion about plastics. Oh yeah. And no plastic bags or plastic wraps. I did know about that. <laughs> but like I said, are we will, are we ready to play this game? Yeah, let's play that game. And cardboard. Yeah, Joe, okay. where does this go? <laughs> well, that's those are very important, and uh, that is cardboard, and cardboard goes in the recycling cart. And it just without make sure there's no food. A lot of times you want to, um, you know, if you sometimes people, you know, grease, little grease isn't a problem. 
But, but you don't want the pizza rinds in there. You don't want pizza rinds, right? You don't want pizza and rinds. And pizza, so any food material right. you don't want. Then you it, don't want it, the, that. it becomes contaminated, and, then doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and cardboard has been one of the more valuable re commodities. Really? I mean, it has at the, you know, at the end of the pandemic, you know, in the pandemic, there was a shortage of cardboard. The value of cardboard went from $30 a ton to about $150 a ton. That's good 20, to know. 2021, 2020. So everybody has to make sure they <laughs> recycle any cardboard so they So that have. was credit. So that, we want cardboard okay. and recycle. Now, now it's about $50 a ton. So the value has come down somewhat. So those are plastic milk cartons, and those are recyclable. What you do is just rinse, rinse them out. We want them clean. Put the caps back on. Used to be you didn't, you know, we don't want the caps. Don't put the caps loose. The scanners at the at the recovery facility can't see the, you know, they're too small for the for the scanners to, to go through. But we want uh, we want those. That. Put the put the lids back on. Plast this is this is plastic pla packaging. Every bubble wrap. time they get something from Amazon. Yeah. It's wrapped in this. Yeah. So there is this everywhere in the whole city. So right. for and our so viewing plastic, public, where does this go? Well, that goes in the trash. And that's one of the biggest contaminants. That and plastic bags mm -hmm. are, are uh, the plastic the biggest bags from the grocery contamination. store. When we've done our spot checks, that's the biggest problem in terms of the contamination. And the plastic bags from the grocery store. And the store. plastic bags. People, a lot of people meaning well, you know, if right. I, they want to be plastic, eat. right? You right. have a, your, in your kitchen, mm -hmm. you know, you have a, your plastic, you have a, we have a, we have a waste disposal <laughs> and a, and a recycling disposal. We want to make sure the recycles, you know, the, the plastic bottles, the paper, it's out of the plastic. Don't put that in the plastic bags. That's, so that's a problem because when that goes to the earth, that goes right in the trash. Okay. So it costs us. It costs us Cost money for that. Right. So this plastic is bags. So that's important. We're trying to get the word out about that. It goes in the, the plastic trash. bags, plastic wraps. All the stuff that the everybody trash. gets from Amazon that is wrapped in this, this goes in that's the trash. trash. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And everybody gets stuck. So tell all your friends. Yes, tell all your friends. <laughs> and plastic bags. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh, yeah. uh -huh. What is this? That's styrofoam. That's also in a lot of those things that are coming that are in the Amazon boxes. That are being delivered all over the town. With styrofoam. All over the city. And styrofoam goes in the trash. That's trash. one of our biggest. That, along with the plastic bags and wraps, probably the in the top three of uh, recycling. Well, I think, like you said, sometimes people are confused. Yeah. They're thinking, why doesn't this go in recyclables? Why doesn't that go? But we're telling you, styrofoam goes in the trash. Yep. All right. What else did you bring for us? I don't know. Let me check the bucket. <laughs> OK. Ah, this is usually a yogurt container. This is a. Um, I don't know, medical yeah. capsules or well, whatever. No. Are these two separate, going to two separate places? Two separate things. Ah. Now what, but not this okay, that's a good example. Because the yogurt can, that was a plastic tub material. That's recyclable. The, fo the it has a metal cap, the metal lid, the sort of, it's kind the of thing that you peel lip. back to eat. That's not, re that's not recycled. So you have to throw that so away. Throw that away. But this but those, is recyclable. That's recyclable. Okay. That's good to know. It's plastic. It should be. Yeah. But this is also plastic. But that is not. They say, and that's. Uh, Why? That is a prescription. Prescription medicine they don't want at the recycled Material. Oh, so it's really the rule for prescription drugs. I think drugs. this is something that nobody knew. Right. For all the seniors because in I town. I have to confess, I didn't know that either. No. And then all the seniors had. in town were good doobies. Yeah. We finish our medication, and we throw these hard plastic containers yep. into the recyclable. But you don't want them there. You but want them in the trash. But that's one of those things. Yeah. And if you go on, I use a research because. Not everybody knows every, 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 you know, I have a lot of experts on recycling. Right. We have to check, there's, a, there's an online resource to check on whether it's recyclable in Massachusetts or not. It's called recyclema.org. A lot of seniors are not 
going to do no. that. So but, this, it, but it's a it's a good, if everybody has a smartphone, it's a good smartphone, resource. It's a good resource. Right. If you go there, it's a recyclopedia. It's actually on the city web page. Right. And it, you know, when I have a question, it's about thing. But if you plug in prescription medicine bottles, really, you say no, put that in the trash. Okay, this med prescription medicine or any kind of supplement medicine. Yeah, but plastic. vitamin thing that that's fine. You know, like vitamins, those are okay. So non-prescription, you can put in the recycling. You mean so your confusing. vitamin E for your joints? Yes. That plastic container the go. goes into the recyclables. Yes. But the hard plastic like prescription medicine prescription middle. medicine does not. They don't want it to. Right. Well, so it's more of a safety. I, I've got to tell you, I think that's that's a big surprise. Yeah. I think everybody. I was surprised at that one yeah. as well. I don't think anybody would have yeah. thought that was it. But vitamin thing, those are good. Those can go in the recycling. Now let's talk about everybody's favorite, <laughs> takeout food. So takeout food. So that is, I mean, and that's when they're styrofoam. I, no, this is not styrofoam. But that's not styrofoam. That's like this a cardboard mix. This is more paper. Mix. Yeah, and so that is recyclable. Yeah. The paper ones that the you get. The paper one, the car. Yeah. Nowadays, like almost paper. all of them are like this. And not all of them. No, Some of them are black. Doing... Black plastic is. Oh. Well. And black plastic, is not recyclable. Oh. And you, the why the why it's not recyclable is is I you know, at the at the recycling facility. They go through scanners, there's optical scanners, and then hand wow. scanners. And the scanners can't read the colored plastic. Of the, okay. Yeah. So if you get um, takeout from places that offer, or you go to a restaurant and bring home your leftovers, yeah. and it's in a black plastic I think we container. go to the same restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Or you, you're taking home your leftovers because you couldn't eat all the food. Right. So some of them have bla that black plastic. plastic. And that has to go in the trash. Or, or, you know, we do. We actually reuse it. And when the kids that's come over true. for Thanksgiving, they take the black that, plastic. That's a good idea. The black and then plastic, they throw it in the trash. Yeah, the black <laughs> plastic is very sturdy. You can send your kids home with the yeah, leftovers. Right. <laughs> yeah, we we reuse them. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, but this, um, this is the paper ones that are coming out. Yeah. I think more and more. And you see a little more, more of those. Right, more and more of our. Uh, I think the Chinese yeah. restaurants are offering yeah. these. And you just make sure there's no food in them again, like that's pizza right. boxes. That's right. That's right. So that's kind of the hard plastic is the point that you're making. The hard, the hard plastic pl goes in the trash. That the. Um, well, some of the hard plastic, you know, the bulky, re like Tupperware, goes. Yeah, Tupperware goes in the trash. The hard. Oh right. You know, like right. toy. You do know, you still like, have you know, Tupperware? What was that? Do you still have some Tupperware? I do. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I do too. I mean, it, it works, you know. It, it sort lasts of always, forever. The kids, but you it, know, kids always again, take it kids. with. Yeah. Okay. We always. So you can always send them home in the Tupperware yeah. and hope that you get it back. Right. <laughs> and you get the black plastic, you know. The that, black the plastic. The restaurant that's like the, all free. In the trash. Like, but this one, I didn't know. This can be recycled. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I don't think anybody knew that. <laughs> I'm looking for unusual things know, in here. Yeah, let me see what else. Now, I is there well, a difference between this and this, or are these the same? They're kind of the same. Well, but oh, what? well, yeah. So that can be recycled because it's clear. Yeah. yeah. And there, and that also. What you shouldn't do, or you don't have to do, but the bottles. You don't have to crush them. A lot of people like crush them. It's. You don't have, that's... Oh, I, I you're see not, what you're you saying. Yeah. That's a, a step you don't have to take. Have to okay. Well, it is for room in your trip. Yeah, but... It is for room. Actually, ah. it damage, oh, what I'm told is that it damages the plastic, so at least in terms, you want to make sure there's a market for this material. Anyway, so they, they don't encourage crushing. Oh, uh, okay. Cans. Cereal boxes, cardboard, those are recyclable. And, yes. Uh, but the, you know the, the but the plastic bag insert, that goes in the trash. Oh, I know it's it's a wax paper wa yeah, thing. That wax paper, you know the. Um, that is good to find so out. Pull that out. Throw that pull in the, the trash. Pull the plastic out. Put the cardboard. Pull this out. Pull that out. There. Put it, it in the trash. Correct. Put this in recyclable. Yep. That's good. That's good to know. I wouldn't have thought of it. I don't think See, anybody thinks of it. They just say. <laughs> It's in the box, <laughs> and if it's in the box, and the box can go in recyclables, it must be okay, but it's no, not. No. Okay. But you know, we were learning a lot 
Okay. Yeah, so Lots. let's see. Ah, another pizza box. And that's another pizza box. Nice commercial for Tripoli's. Yes, well, you know, they make <laughs> nice pizza. Yeah. But this is um, recyclable. Yeah. And again, just make sure there's no food. extra cheese in there. Or food. Okay, no food. And I'm not sure. Well, this is paper, so that's. Paper, yep. That's that, okay. And this again, oh, here's something that's interesting. Two things. These are, these are, this is paper, so it goes in recyclable. But this, oh, these this are aluminum. Like so, yeah, so that's, so that aluminum, like the aluminum plate, that's trays, those are recyclable. The juice box is kind of a foil wrap. That's not recycled. That goes in the trash. This goes in the trash for everybody out there with the kids and the juice and the, That's it like goes the in plastic. the trash. Yep. And this goes and the into recycling. Straws is all straws, the plastic straws right. go in the trash. In the trash. Okay. So this is all good. I'm making a trash pile over here. The other thing that I don't have in there, hoses, things like tanglers. Oh, yeah. Um, clothes hangers. Those go in the trash. Clothes hangers can go back Hoses to the- Hoses can go in the clothes, trash? Clothes hangers should go in the trash. Actually, should go back to the dry cleaners. They, they Oh, reuse. that's right. They recycle them. But, but did you but say the, hoses, the like hangers, garden, garden, garden hose? hoses or tanglers? It basically jams up yes, it does. the conveyor machines at the recycling facility. But, so they, want so they go in the safety. trash. So they go okay. in the trash. Well, I'm getting signals that we're near. It always goes by so fast, Joe. That was, a, that was the quickest half hour. Because we always have I so much fun. I haven't even had a baby yet. <laughs> <laughs> and the best thing is, I think, you know, we learned a lot. Learned yeah. a lot. Well, you can learn more. And yeah, people can call me, my, my I email. I think they're going I to have all your information up maybe up there. At, um, at your, there's your there email. Go. There That's it goes. It. I don't know if she's going to put the phone number up, but they can do that now or later. Emails are emails are the, better, and I answer them on the weekends. <laughs> oh, you answer well, you them know, on the I, weekends. I get them, you know. I will yeah, there. I'm not in the office now, right? But I'll get my emails. Well, as I said, I'm so glad you came in. I'm glad you came in with props. <laughs> it always it, it always makes it nice. It takes when our guests bring in props, because then we can you know show the public what's going on. So, again, well, it's good to see you again. Thank you for the invite. Appreciate oh, it. We're so glad you were able to make it. And um, hope that your baby is born, your Thank grandbaby. You. We'll, we'll keep you posted. I'll yeah, yeah. Let you know. Very soon. <laughs> so, anyway. So, that's our show. I hope you learned a bit about what it is to recycle versus throwing it in the trash. With all the props we had today, I think we learned a lot. So thank you for tuning in. <laughs> well, that was fun. That's my...